world is arguably our and your biggest game of your life. I didn't even understand the magnitude of wings finally getting over the hump. As I'm walking down the block, I got people I have never seen in my life. Coach, bring it home for us. Coach, good luck in the finals. So even when we think people aren't watching, they, they're watching. One, two, three. Wait, One, two, three. Seven. Yeah, this school is like a, it's like a small school, right? maybe only like 600 kids in it. Everybody really knows each other. Everybody, you know, kind of looks out for each other. And everybody's like a family. Man, Number one team in the city. Be taking it. Be there Saturday. Be there Saturday. One o'clock. I mean, Jesse entering the program has put us over the hump. You know, there's. I mean, how many people can say they have a six foot eleven, 260 pound kid that's highly skilled? But George is probably the closest one to me on the team. But he's been our starting point guard since he was a sophomore, and I mean, we've had a lot of success under his, uh, under his abilities. Man, I was always on this side my whole life. Always. I was always the smallest kid. That motivated me. It's, this is last year, next year, next step, college, so you don't get this back. Like, I want more of it, but I can't because I'm a senior now, so, like, I want to take advantage of this opportunity. He, he, he's become like my son. He's a kid we're going to solely miss. And I tell him and Jesse the same thing. Once the season started, they took over, and it's just been their leadership in terms of getting other guys to step up and, and really be a part of it. Bings Nation! I've been playing with Jesse for a long time now. We had chemistry before he got here, so when he got here, it just made us even closer. He's one of my best friends off the court, so when I get on the court with him, we just have this kind of sync together. We already know what each other's going to do. We kind of have that chemistry where we just look at each other and we know what we're talking about right away. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us here for the 2015 PSAL Basketball Championships Press Conference. We have this small school from the BX up in the Bronx, Wings Academy, going up against the mighty four-headed monsters, the guards from Cardozo last year. Benjamin Cardozo shocked New York City and won the championship. So who's going to tell this story? Is it going to be your story today? Is it going to be your story on Saturday? We're anxious to see what happens. Before this year, we've been we've been to uh, five Final Fours. This this year was our sixth Final Four, and previous years we we'd be up in the fourth quarter and just miss foul shots. I'm putting the next group of guys on the line who are going to be in a situation where you have to step to the line and make these foul shots. Go. 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 Half an hour to make six foul shots. I can tell you like this. We will not have a half an hour to make six foul shots in a chip. That's game, set, match. They got Jesse. They got Dijon. They got point guard Randy defense. They got all of that. Wings, man, wings. They gonna win 101%. Big stage, but well, you know how we deal with big stages. Your individual success comes from the team's success. Nothing more, nothing less. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, stack opposite. Stack opposite. Corner short. It's 
That's what I want to say. First of all, settle down and relax. Stop overextending. There's a big court. Remember how we would pull one of the bigs up? Yeah. We'd pull one of the bigs up to the middle because what they're doing is they're breaking it with a 1-3-1. One, one. One. Y'all got to communicate, coaches. It's another game, but it's our game to lose, yo. Let's dominate the game. No, no, what I told you, man. Read the shot. Yeah.